Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So guys, I got a best of racket or best for you racket video today. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so before I get started, um, you guys know I got to have a cup of joe every morning, straight black, straight mud, just to knock me awake. But since I've heard a lot of you guys uh, wanted me to upgrade my mic and is willing to help support that instead of my coffee or my beer habit, um, go ahead and just buy me a bunch of coffees or a bunch of beers on my website, uh, tennisspinusa.com. And I, I'm actually trying to save up for a new mic rig so that the sound quality is better, you know, especially outdoors in the high wind. I don't know what's going on this year, but every time I go outside, it's like the wind is howling and we, you know, it's so hard to, to tape in the wind. So, uh, but I am saving for a new rig and to help that. So if you want to help support that, uh, tennisspinusa.com or buy me a coffee backslash tennis spin. All right. Thank you in advance. Now, a top best of video today. Now, what am I talking about? A bunch of you have actually, um, contacted me saying, hey, what is the best mid-weight tennis racket? Also, what is the best rackets that are suited for women? So I kind of believe that they're one in the same. Um, you're going to fall into that 9.9 ounce racket to that 10 point kind of two, three, four-ish uh, ounce racket before strings. And I feel that these are best suited for that type of player. So whether you're starting off um, and you're looking for something on the lighter side or you're intermediate, even into some advanced um, racket, no, into some advanced players, uh, you should be able to take any of the rackets that I will be suggesting and take it and run with it, uh, literally. Okay, so... I'm going to start off with uh, what I recommend to people who walk in here and saying, I want a slightly lighter racket and I'm kind of a beginner, okay, to low intermediate, what I normally would sell, okay, and that would be kind of like a Clash 100. It is a little higher on that weight scale at 10.4 but they make it so head light that you're able to get it through um, the air and get in front of the ball. So you guys know I play with a Clash Pro myself. Um, I do believe in this racket and I do like this racket a lot. And I do sell a lot of this. It's the number one seller um, in the nation or at least you know a top two, top three seller in the nation, but it has been the number one for a while two. Okay. Clash 100. The next one would be a pure drive team, right? Definitely the prototypical like women's lightweight racket. It's 10.1 ounces before strings. Uh, it has a stiffer feel than a clash. So if you're looking for a traditional racket feel, traditional racket stiffness, this pure drive will definitely do the trick for you. Now, some of the pros send their students in here. Um, just actually, somebody just left saying, My pro Leo uh, sent me in here for more control. So she was playing with a Hyper Hammer 110 6.3, and Leo said to get something that'll stay in the court that's like 10.12 ounces, no more than 100 square inches. So if you fall into that category, which is what pretty much this whole video is about, um, this would be your racket, the strike team. Okay. Again, 10.1 ounces, but definitely more on the control side. So they thin out the beam to make it a little more flexible. 
to give you a little more control. Okay? Strike team. Now, the anomalies in this that I like are extreme MP. So this is going to be the heaviest out of all the rackets that I would like for this category to use. This is, comes in at 10.6 ounces, but if you are strong and you don't mind a little bit more weight, uh, this is your frame. I believe, I, I personally believe that the Extreme MP is the best racket in the headline. It actually works for pretty much anybody that's in that beginner intermediate range. You could pick this up, man or woman, um, and pretty much start using it. It's got great feel, it's got great power. Um, this is probably the best racket out and should be the number one selling racket, <coughs> should be the number one selling racket in their line going forward. Um, I believe in this racket that much. Now, for all you people that need a little more control, but, but want a slightly bigger head, the CX200 Oversize, right, is very, very similar to a Wilson Blade 104, okay? So if you want a bigger head, yet keep the control, this Dunlop is definitely the way to go. It's in that 10 ounce realm, okay? You'll get great control if you need the power, just swing a little harder, dial it up, right? This will help give you the power, give you the spin, and help you with the thinner beam direct the ball where you want it to go. So either one of either this or I don't have any more right now, but either this or the Wilson Blade 104 will be a great choice if you need a slightly bigger head and a slightly thinner beam for control okay now that is what i would suggest for that customer that person that wants a slightly lighter racket possibly a woman in that beginner to intermediate realm but i feel like these rackets can suit pretty much anybody that kind of wants that lighter racket and just kind of enjoy the game uh, play league and kind of move forward and advance with the game. Okay? Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. What happened to my tennis store? Hi. Hi. Um, they actually, they're gone now. We took over the lot. Oh no. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Ah. Okay, thank you. No problem. Have a nice day. Thank you. Where do I go now? Have you heard of Racket Aid? All Racket Aid? All you have to do is go to racketaid.com. You take your racket, ship it off, and it'll come back strong, ready to go. Just for you. That's Check amazing. It.